welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. When an experienced detective of the Jamaica Constabulary Force is about to educate the audience with facts, not hyperbole, or propaganda for the government and the criminals elected or not. And a matter of fact, the thief in police officers whom I despise because they are worse than the criminals as they are criminals in uniform. I want you to listen to these young men you know, from Brayton, Portmore, this video right here. So it's going to show you the mindset of the Jamaican youths in Jamaica. But these are people, you know, if you notice um, what they're doing right here, it's nothing constructive, you know. It's all about fear and terrorism. But yet still, these are the most protected people in Jamaica. These are the ones that unleashing terror, you know. Not on Cubans or Asians. It's on Jamaican people. Whole lady, 96 year old, right down to seven months old children. But these are people who are protected, you know. You see, whenever something happened to them, um, the police are the, are, the, are the members of the Jamaica Defense Force killed them. Everyone in the community say, even people who are sleeping are people who, um, in another country. They will call and tell you that they saw everything that happened. But you see, when these guys with these guns kill anyone, nobody ever see. So I want to, this is Portmore now, this is a culture that's rampant in Jamaica. It's a part of the Jamaican culture. If you cannot display this kind of behavior, nobody have no respect for you. So I want you to watch this video and then um, I'll let you know where I am going with this to show you the mindset of the Jamaican people. You don't want these kind of people around you or in your country. You want them to stay down you because they are all parasites. Let them eat, feed on each other. Yes, I was born here, but different culture, different time, everything. You understand? But the person who helped contribute to this culture, he's in prison or in a vibes cartel. So, just listen. Next thing again. For a boy pray for ramp with no woman down on me I just move out the wall and no mama on a sister on a baby mother on no a daughter. Just know that. Here, yeah? well, I don't know if you just start taking off the vice did this and just start saying you're not going place. Can I see? If a boy ever ramp with no I hope you guys watching and listening what these young men were saying you know did you hear what they say gods are forever empire you know what that mean that means it's vibes cartel the same man you know a DJ Palmer who's in prison for murder for killing lizard and everyone is out there campaigning using the media the pro, you know as a propaganda machine because people can't pay money for to get anything in the media you know? so this is the man that they're saying is an innocent man and he have never done anything and he's jesus incarnate vibes cartel but you hear those men they're talking about even this is a killer so and it's gaza forever most of us know that gaza it's not black people, African people live there. Although the Arabs who are living there are Africans. Gaza is in Africa. But in Gaza, we know that what's happened there, you understand? But what the what this young man who's in prison, this artist, what he wants to do you know, is to rain down terror. And his own people, you know, in Portmore, Waterford, 
and all over say Gaza because he wants to be the Dan for Portmore and all over because they are responsible for lust of people who have lost their life. But anyway, so um, today is Sunday, July 25th, 2021 at about 8 p.m. And I am here to talk to you about one of Jamaica's most destructive and influential artists, who is also a gangster, whom the low IQ people love, revere, celebrate, and are fighting for his release from prison for murder. The man's name is Adija Palmer, affectionately known as Vice Cartel, who is from the same community of Waterford St. Kitchen, where my parents migrated from Jonestown, Kingston 12. I've been living there. And it's the same place I left with my suitcase and went to Jamaica Police Academy and joined the police force and live a life that these people won't tell their children to emulate. I know Sean, not Sean Storm, Sean, otherwise called Kunda. He lives at the end of my pathway and Cassandra way of Portland West, where I grew up. His mother, Miss Gloria, and her family, they came there in the middle of the 1980s. Sean was a very close friend of Adija Palmer, otherwise called Vives Cartel. Police killed Sean after Vives Cartel informed on him. I want you to listen to me again. So you just say inform of a dead and descendant. Police killed Sean after Vives Cartel inform on him because he wanted to save himself from going to prison for killing Clive Williams, otherwise called Lizard. If you notice all over the news and the internet, no one has been talking about Clive Williams, otherwise called Lizard, as if he, he was not a human being and someone's son, brother, cousin, friend. But here is a video of Clive Williams, otherwise called Lizard, that is missing from the propaganda, misinformation and lies about his killing. I want you to watch. This is Lizard, you know that they pretend like lizard was climbing on some tree or otherwise so here it is well as you can see you know that's that's the deceased man clive williams that they call lizard you know that um that vibes that you know that um vibes cartel and sean star and the others have been convicted for killing you know you don't hear anything about lizard you know um, nobody talk as if um lizard was somebody's child brother uncle, father, maybe, you know, boyfriend, you know, they talk as if Lizard was a nobody, because that's how it is, you know, in bad man place, you understand, so, you know, Vibes Adija Palmer is a very, very influential person, so, that's how it is, you know, in, in poor man, in bad man place, you understand. Now that you have watched the video and seen the footage of the late Clive Williams, otherwise called lizard you have seen that he was a young man and not any lizard that live in any tree or outdoors so those who are calling vibes cartel an innocent man and others need to check their morals decency honesty humanity and conscience if this was your brother how would you feel to know that somebody killed him mince him up and all of those things then they're coming out to lies and all, all you know there, 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 um, there's an old man that um, he came out, old man, you know, that, um, well, Lizard was a murderer and stuff, and, and stuff like that. How many people would know of Lizard killed? Where's the evidence? You're coming out. Yes, um, he, he was affiliated with Vibes Cartel. That means he was mixed up, but he wasn't convicted. Vibes Cartel is convicted for killing him and the others. You understand what I'm saying? So Vibes Cartel must rot in prison. He must pay for his crime. You understand? Clive Williams have a mother and he has sisters and he has friends. You understand? And they kill this man. Means him up because Vibes Cartel can't get the big high price lie them. You understand? So, anyway, we have seen an American journalist working at Fox 5 New York. A white woman who's using the using the media house in New York to mitigate Vibes Cartel's innocence. Still, Miss Lisa Evers got conned by Jamaican El Chapo. 
Oh, boy, people, I said, you mean by El Chapo? Yeah, El Chapo, Jamaican El Chapo are, what should I say? Pablo Escobar. Um, you remember Pablo Escobar in the 80s growing up in Jamaica in the 90s. Yes, man, Jamaican El Chapo or Pablo Escobar is a man named Isaac Buchanan. Oh, you want to know who's Isaac Buchanan? Yes, Isaac Buchanan, Buchanan is the two-time convicted drug dealer. I want you to listen to me. Isaac Buchanan is the two-time convicted drug dealer. Who is a convicted criminal and should not be practicing in any court. So in Jamaica, you know, uh, uh, Miss Miss Evers is there, um, you know, giving credence to this man always, and he's a human rights lawyer. But I wonder if she, she um, I wonder if she did her check to know that what she was doing is promoting a convicted drug dealer, a person who was bringing drugs from Jamaica into America to flood the streets, and he was arrested by the customs border agents. Thank God for them. You understand? God, this is a drug dealer, you know. Big time. You understand? Isaac Buchanan should be in prison for a cocaine dealing. And he is not an honest broker. So, you see, when it comes on to being an attorney, now in Jamaica, you one have to wonder now, you know, if the lie that you're hiring is a criminal. Remember, criminals are dishonest people, you know. These are not people who have honesty or anything. You understand what I'm saying? So, whoever, so whenever, you know, Especially people who live in foreign or people who's buying land and stuff like that. You have to ask now, you know, if your lawyer is a convicted felon, you know. Because, you know, criminals are dishonest people. Yes, we know that we have a lot of thief in lawyer down there. So one of them robbed the, um, the artist, Movada, 30 odd million dollars. A liar, you know. And guess what? She's free walking up and down. She's not in prison. You understand? And, and Movada is, is a ghetto youth, you know, you know, come from. Catch a park right on the gully of Red Hills Road. When rainfall, anything in the pathway of the rain, watch it away. And it's a liar that rob him in the 13th million. And the same liar that rob him is walking up free. Says so she don't have the money to pay. And I don't see any criminal charge her. She should be in prison. She should get life for that man. You understand what I'm saying? But that's how it is in Jamaica. So they pretend like they love poor people, but they are all thieves. So here's a convicted drug dealer, an American news media T um, spitting lies about the police tampering with evidence and in in this case with this one but the police that did it you know that's why i tell you i don't like thief in police you understand so it's a thief in police that was working down where this man was used the phone and tamper with it but little did they know that the detectives that were there are smarter than them because they get the, they got the information from the phone but miss lisa evers you got can by jamaica el chapo Isaac Buchanan, you understand? You call him little youth, a little, a big, a big convict, big drugs dealer. That you understand? So, I want you to watch the video of what Miss Evers um, got played by our producer. And when our producer is anyway, I'll get. To. I wonder if being a man or a yellow man hear this, where this woman has said, uh, "Vibes cartel is the king of the dance." I've started is not the king of the dance hall. It's Yellow Man is the original king of the dance hall. And then Beanie Man, you know, crown himself says the king of the dance hall. I wonder if Beanie Man here this cause hey Beanie Man is a man <laughs> jealous when they come on to them thing they in a rasta. Believe you me, you know. So let's see how it you know it's how it put all apart the play out, you know. You understand? You know, with Beanie Man and Vibes Cartel, although Vibes Cartel say um so being the man I inform, I mean, I, you know, I cannot, um, I cannot say um, one way or the other. You understand? Period. You know, I'm listening to this woman interviewing, um, you know, a prison board, um, you know, Isaac Buchanan. You have to wonder how much money um, they had paid her, her to be, you know, spreading this propaganda in America. But look, if you can show me one honest criminal, I know that, um, what's his name, Isaac Buchanan, is not that honest criminal. You understand? Because he's a convicted felon, big time. You understand? So if you're waiting you know, to see an honest criminal, that's not Isaac Buchanan.
Isaac Buchanan is a two-time convicted drug dealer. But you have to understand, you know, the only reason why Vibes Cartel case is getting oxygen is because of the lawyer with him, Bert Summers. And you have to understand, you know, how Jamaica operates, you know. Jamaica don't have a crime problem, you know. Jamaica have a corruption problem, you know. Big time, you know. Just remember me tell you that. Jamaica don't have a crime problem. Jamaica have a corruption problem. And you see, if Bert Samuels was involved in Vibes Cartel case, uh, when the first, the local appeal, you know, you understand, because judge and lawyer, you know, they're my friend. They sit down and drink coffee for a weekend, and you understand things exchange. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Jamaica you understand does not say things like money, you know. And Jamaica have a corruption problem. Big time. You know, mm. you know that's one of our biggest problems, why our system is so corrupt. But you know that... Um, you know, most people do not have the tolerance to listen video even past five minutes, you know, especially, you know, Jamaicans. But, you know, because, um, I don't know, it's like they said that black people have some attention deficit problem. But anything to do with, like, decadent and all them things, or anything you tickle them fancy, then we, you know, a man of God stay true and stay there for the entire 12 hours, stand up on him foot, on him feet and enjoy it and, you know, what why for it. 20 minutes I reading about now, so I too much that thing. Anyway, this is part one, and based on, you know, people's um, tolerance or information, yeah, so we have to break it up in parts, different parts, so you understand, you know, why vice cartel will die in prison or must die in prison. Blessed love.